youth are particularly vulnerable because they don't have any economic opportunities. They lack educational opportunities. And they lack legal activities to give them uh, hope for their futures. So the legal, are, legal groups know that they are vulnerable to utilizing them and um, ad, acting as parts of their illegal crime, of their narco trafficking uh, structures. And it's easy to lure them into the into becoming a member of their groups. So they offer them a cell phone, they offer them a motorcycle, and all of a sudden their group is expanding. Right now, the illegal armed groups, unfortunately, are expanding in post-conflict, and they're looking to uh, grow in number. So they look to these youth as easy targets, and they're vulnerable because they haven't had enough opportunity um, to promote peace and promote licit activities. We as a program realize that youth are particularly important now that Colombia has negotiated an end to the 52-year conflict with the FARC. Youth have, had all, have only known violence, but in the framework of conflict. What we realized and what we needed to focus on is convincing that these youth have a future, that peace is possible, that it doesn't have to have, their daily lives don't have to be marked by violence, but be, can be marked by peace. So what we do as a program is we support grantees, civil society organizations, to give them hope, to give them incentive to not join illegal groups, to have legal activities after school, that they can do music, dance, learn how to take pictures, things that we've been um, supporting through our grantees in rural areas where they haven't had any opportunities to foster uh, hope and a culture of peace.